Well, we're here at Paul Greyhounds tonight. I'm pleased to say I'm joined by Matt Redman, who is assistant trainer to June Harvey. They've got our boy Bullet going in the Star Sports Derby at Nossium. And of course, we're here at Paul. This is the start of his preparation in the RPG TV Golden Crest heats tonight. But win, lose or draw here, what happens from here on in before the Derby? Yeah, so this is his first run back this year. Um, we've kept him off over Christmas, over the winter break, really. Uh, things weren't plain sailing just before Christmas, but we decided with the cold weather just to keep him back. This was always the first, first plan to bring him here, just to ease him in. I think he'll still go close in this competition if, if we get the luck and you know, no, no, no issues, if you like. But Nottingham was a track I was quite happy with that got the derby because it's a, it's a track that will suit him. He's a fantastic bend runner, and we all know what issues you can have on the inside of the third bend. 500 metres, long straights, is right up the street, just like Hove. So, I think it's a dog that can qualify and keep going. And, you know, I've got big ambitions in this dog going quite far for us in the derby. I know you love training him and you really rate him as well. And there's good reason to think that based on what he's done in the past. Yeah, well, he came over off the, off the Sean O'Connor Cup win at um, Nimrick off a 28.33. I think that was Con, Con Kirby night, final night. I think it was only Droopy's day that night that went quicker than him. So he's a very, very fast dog. And, you know, his, his first sort of dozen races at, at, in England was, was scintillating, really. I mean, you know, he was lighting the track up at Hove and at, and at Romford. And then, you know, to beat King Turbo on the bounce, twice on the bounce at Sittingbourne as well, was, was good in the Kent Derby. But, um, yeah, he, he, he suffered a little muscle pull just uh, during the semi-finals of the Kent Derby and um, it was flagged up in his next race and uh, yeah so we've, we've just decided to keep him off I think a lot of him I think yeah, he's, yeah, a, he's a great dog he's got a good temperament he's very calm keeps himself very cool he's very consistent um, great backstroke pace has more early pace than they give him credit for I think some people and uh, you know I, I think all round he, he runs the bends brilliantly and I think he's qualified yeah, he's qualified you would definitely think that Nottingham will suit him given where he's run well before so for those watching this I know that you've raced him very highly. You've even said he, he could be as good as in the top five in the country if he's at his best. Would you be backing him now for the derby? See, I, I said that when he was running last year, and you know, and it was running at home, and he was running against you know some very, very good dogs. All gone on to win cup winners and been in cup one finals, like the trade match, Sporting Day, King Turbo, like I've mentioned, he's run against Bombers Bullet, you know, and he's beat them all comfortably in, 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 on his day. But obviously, you know, in the derby, you need to be, it needs to be your day. But he certainly has the ability. He's the fastest four bend dog I've ever, I've ever had, and. Uh, Again, I can't thank Martin Lanny enough for uh, giving us the opportunity to buy him. Well, and he'll definitely be in tip-top shape come the derby because he's coming from the Harvey Kennels. So do have a look at our boy Bullet in the anti-post betting. Good luck, and I hope all your preparations go to plan. Thank you very much.